My dumb thing I did this week is actually pretty exciting. Glyph is a pipeline to create all sorts of different AI content to make it easy for you, the person who maybe isn't totally used to AI content, create a really interesting thing with all sorts of different tools. So this is drawing upon GPT, it's drawing upon stable diffusion. And essentially what it is, is it allows you to either A, use somebody else's pipeline that they have created, or which is even cooler, create your own pipeline, which is essentially like a, a checkpoint where you say, okay, I will first say, I'll just off the top of my head, I wanna create hats that say funny sayings on them. So first you have to have a picture of a hat, then you have to have GPT create the saying itself, and then you have to put the things together, and then maybe you put it on a background, right? So it's essentially giving it step by step. It is super cool. I don't know, Kevin, did you have a chance to kind of play around with it at all? I did, yeah. And Disclosure Town, as Gavin said, these are friends of ours. This is hashtag not an ad, but we love them and yes. we love the product. Glyph.app, G L I F. Dot app. Before you even make your own glyphs, you can go and use glyphs that other people have made, including the team, right? There's a glyph that essentially is like create a character, a cool person in an era. So it essentially allows you to pick the era. It allows you to describe the person. That's a great And then photo. it presents you with a picture. So, yeah, so it's pretty good, right? So I said that character is late 70s punk from Japan, and it showed up with that. But you can put in things like 1930s gangster, or you could put in all sorts of different things. It lets you choose, okay, what is your character? What's the gender? What's the time period? So that's a very simple one. Then, of course, with any tool, we have to fierify it. We have to get Ready, the whole set, fear. Fieri. So, yes. <laughs> fierify. <laughs> Ready, set, fieri. Yeah. It totally yeah, works. That's fine. Ready, set, fieri. <laughs> okay. It and sounds like you, a Mario Party mini game when you say it Mario. like that. Yeah. I like that. These are all different glyphs that you can do. So the first one was a Lex Friedman guy. So basically, this is a glyph that was created to look like you have a character on the Lex Friedman podcast. <laughs> Here's my favorite part about this. Guy Fieri replies to him in, in a very Fieri-esque way. But then at the end, he said, I'd say let the machines work their magic and quit overthinking it. Bam. <laughs> and bam is not a Guy Fieri saying. Is that bam Emeril? Is another famous chef saying. Emeril, yeah. What did you feed Glyph to get this out? Did you just say Guy Fieri? I just said Guy Fieri. So they've clearly got within this Glyph what sort of questions Lex Friedman asks. And then also... Mm -hmm. They heard me say Guy Fieri because clearly one of the other prompts is like, who's the guest? And they right. got some version of a Guy Fieri response from GPT. And That's by the way, cool. you can remix all of the prompts on the site. So if you're wondering, man, how did they just take Guy Fieri and turn the conversation into that with the text and the meme? Yep. You can deconstruct anything on the site and make it your own. Exactly. It's, it's, it's like Legos, right? You can pull them apart and put them back together. Mm -hmm. All right, this next one was a pretty simple Pixar version of Guy Fieri. I, a lot of stuff shows up with Guy Fieri now that I've become a Guy Fieri generation <laughs> expert. A lot of stuff comes up with guitars, but I'm not sure that Guy is himself a musician. Do you know about this? Is he a musician or not? I think he can do it all. He's the mayor of Flavortown. Who's <laughs> going to tell him no? Okay, fair enough. The <laughs> next one is, oh, yeah, this so this is a Juggalo glyph. So in this... You can juggaloify anybody, right? So in a juggalo, if you're not familiar, is a insane clown someone who's down band, with the clown. Often, yes, someone who the clown, uh, enjoys yeah, yep. the relaxing sip of a fago from time to time, who's obsessed with the net. Wonders, and, yeah, how, mag whoop, whoop. wonders how magnets work. Then we, oh yeah, this is the diorama of of Guy Fieri. Guy Fieri looks like he left the kitchen and then came back in and forgot why. He's got the pose <laughs> of an older gentleman that is just in mid something. Ugh. Is it my phone? No. I also like he's wearing a full leather outfit, including <laughs> leather, what I think are leather shorts, which is a really cool look. Yeah. If you could have leather shorts, I, I might wear those all the time. He wore that to the gathering of Juggalos, uh, I believe. That was his cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll skip forward to the Glyph Peaks one. So this was a very simple one that kind of put Guy Fieri <laughs> in a Twin Peaks style on it, which is kind of cool, right? His belt buckle matches his bolo. <laughs> Did you yeah, notice that? It's pretty it, great. It, oh and, my and they God. both look like bullet wounds from the Liquid Terminator. I think it was the T-1000 <laughs> that gets shot. But it's classy. By the way, I'm not his, mad at it. His bolo, his bolo was hanging way low, and that shirt is very That's open. Right. The idea of this six months to a year down the road, when you can really integrate tools that could be like significant, that could really open the door to people, 
there's a world where this is like a big, big deal. And it's just one of those things where it's good to know now kind of what this thing is. A huge shout out to our friends for making something that, again, I think AI can be scary and yeah. it seems overwhelming. And at least right now with Glyph, you can go there and just start playing around with things and have a good time. And there's some real power there. 